Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. Use the coupon code Manny, you get 10% off. We're gonna come at him, we're gonna come at him. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Welcome back, everyone. Can I say welcome back, is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. This is your channel, I've just taken it that's over. Cool. That's you cool. guys welcome know back. Manny, my name's Ted. We are up to no good today. We are in New York City on a beautiful day, and we're going to do some street photography using something new here. X3? That is your first time to check out. Yep. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm I'm excited. But Manny brought me out. Normally we do challenges. Manny beats me every time because he's <laughs> awesome no and way. he makes me look bad. And uh, so I said I don't want a challenge this time. You just you ruin me. You bring me to my knees and I can't, I just mentally can't deal with that today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about street photography a little bit. Some tips, some things, what to look for. We're going to apply this to the Fujifilm X-Pro3 and we're gonna have a pretty good time. You ready for this? Let's go. Let's do it. So one of the cool things, because we're in New York City, we're gonna look, this is just technical right now. Doesn't matter what camera you're using. You can use your phone, you can use the X-Pro3. You're gonna look cooler using that. I do, yeah, hipster. But the cool thing about New York is like, we're in the middle of like Photo Plus right now. So yeah. it's gonna be a lot of camera nerds like us. <laughs> but you also have some other, like the guys with the suits just walking by. So you wanna look for what's different. Okay, you want to look for different. like, yeah, something a little different. You got to look for the unusual. It's like uh, Joel Meyerowitz, the great Joel Meyerowitz said, he said, what you want to do, it's like, you know, you're walking down the street and all of a sudden you smell like bread or like a bakery and then it's gone the next. So you got to be ready for those moments. You know, your eyes always kind of like in surveillance mode. That's why the shades are key. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Because okay. not only do you look cool, but then, yeah. you, you know, nobody knows what you're doing. Another problem with street photography around here is like when you're with a real celebrity like yeah, Manny, right. you're gonna get recognized every two blocks. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so the first technique that we're going to talk about is kind of a lay and wait approach. You know, okay. the great Henri Cartier-Bresson, the most famous street photographer. He's like the god everybody looks up to, right? Okay. So he has this book, The Decisive Moment. Roll with me on this. I've got gotcha. In the book, he says that he learned some of his techniques while in the military when he was doing snipers. Anyway, it, I forget what it is specifically. I'm gonna talk over the siren, but that's a technique you can use. We're gonna set up, you're gonna look for a location that works compositionally, and we're gonna wait for a subject to come through it. Now, what's cool is on the X-Pro3, Show them the flip screen, because this is key. This is what people don't realize. That ever since this is weird, right? We got this this flip screen that flips down, but hold the camera down now, like and like, oh, I'm not shooting anybody. I'm yeah. just like looking down at the ground. This is a TLR or something, you know? For all they know, I'm sense. looking at an image. I'm reviewing one yeah, of my images. Yeah, you're reviewing your images. I'm checking my camera. It's broken. I'm you're checking it out. Right at him is and what you're I'm doing. Taking a picture. That's right. So here's an example. So we have this door that's sitting open here. Not that this is a great shot, but what can we do with it? And so like just straight on, like for me, I feel like it's just a little flat. So you might change up your angle too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait and see if somebody comes out the door, somebody comes in front of the door, what the situation is. I would even go low on this and kind of go up at it. Okay. And see, this is the thing. There's a lot of sitting here waiting, so. Everyone's using the other door. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have you guys stay back here. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot waist level. Okay. And I'm gonna pretend like, I'm gonna utilize that, uh, the, the hip. Yeah. Shooting from the hip. Get that screen, all right. Yeah. So what I did was I pretended like I was taking a picture of the building just so he, he didn't look like, you know, he didn't feel intimidated. Stealth. And so what I did was I flipped the screen down yep. 
and I took the shot from the hip, and you see, like, I pretend like I was reviewing an image. It's yeah. so cool to shoot like this. He had no idea. I, told you, I, know. I was just like, oh, you know, I'm looking here, and I'm, I'm snapping pictures of him. Yeah, and it's quiet, so you're not, he's not distracting. And it's the, actually kind of key. And the one thing that I like is that the LCD is really actually, crispy. It's not a bad shot, dude. It's really crispy. So it's like, you, you see what I mean? Yeah. So dude, that's you, killer. And I shot, I took a lot of pictures to get that expression from him. You know, he, he was giving me different, I think he started to like realize something like, hey, you know? So I like it though. And the classic negative. It's really good. I love the tones of the classic yeah, negative. Yeah, because he has the retro look, which is yeah. really cool. No, dude, that, that could have been 1962. Right? I love it, man. I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, so what am I looking for next? Well, you got a lot of color going on. Oh, I like that. So. Yeah. Oh, two things you got. Oh, here. You got the color and you got skyline. So this is New York. So what if I just wait there for a shot right yeah. here? I would. You could do this. You or, could do this two ways. You could do it that way, or you could do it. You try them both. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, right here. Wait. Have sun in this one. It may not work. Let me see. So yeah, people are backlit. I think it looks okay. Let me get some of the lines in the shot. I tried there. Let me see. So I kind of, what I do is kind of frame it, you know, frame it between the lines. Yep, that's it. That's the idea. So I wish I could, it's my natural reaction is to chimp. You know, it I is. chip and I'm like, I don't see anything. <laughs> so, so what it does, it, I mean, it forces you to be more, like, less, like, just continue on Confident. and keep shooting. Confident. And yeah, yeah. Stay the course, yeah. yeah. You know, it really does. And it's like, back when I used to do a lot more film, it's like, that's kind of one of the things I liked about it. You can't chimp because you can't see it until it's processed later, but. Yeah. But I like how you, you saw the guy with the dog coming and had your shot set up. I mean that's hard light right there. It may or may not work. It actually but doesn't look too bad. Okay. The classic negative, it, the way the way the the, the film, yeah. uh, the way it looks out of here, looks actually look pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So this is cool because you had two subjects that like I, you were set up and, and you're like, hey, I gotta get the, the guy. With, I'm like, you're thinking about it. That's right. Yeah. And then you did something that I was actually gonna get to, but you got to it early. You said I'm gonna frame him up using these. Yeah. And then exactly. the woman with the child came by. And so that's a technique that I've talked about on the channel before called subframing. And so the whole idea is you're going to use something in the foreground that's actually framing up your subject. So you can be shooting through a window, you yeah. can be shooting through a fence, something obvious like that. Man, he's, uh, he's uh, I don't, I've lost him. He's doing his yeah. own thing now, yeah. He got something going on here. <laughs> One thing that draws my eye are those fire escapes. Yeah. So what if I... I'd do it. Frame up someone here. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Man, they honk a lot here. And I also like the fact that you're going really low on all these angles too, because yeah. it's like when you shoot standing up, yep. that's just what people are used to seeing. Yeah, so it's it, harder to get interest. Right? Yep. But yeah. that's the thing is if you could be flexible and anybody who wants to shoot street, and I think this is kind of key, you allow things to happen and you allow yourself to adapt to a situation because what was in your mind is not what is before you. So what is before me and how can I make that interesting? And you know, you go out for an hour and you keep changing it up, you're gonna come back with some interesting shots. Yeah. So well, you know what I'm seeing actually, um, I, I have to like rewire my brain from portrait right. to like, I like the ex the people that are in cars driving by, yeah. that are on their phones. But that's portrait thing you're looking for. And, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, and I had this one guy that was on his phone. It looked good. Yeah. It just looked really good. And, and I could probably stand right there and get a picture of someone like passing by in like a car. I don't, I don't know. Why don't we do it? Okay, let's try it. Hey Ted, what if what if we um, shoot some reflections like of people in the window? Okay. And I feel confident. Like normally, I wouldn't feel confident doing this. I just I don't I don't but have it. You're new 
newfound technique. <laughs> so I, I, I really like this shooting from the hip. So no, that is funny because like there is another attitude with a lot of street photographers where that is real street photography, getting in people's face, like the Bruce Gilden. School. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with that. That doesn't suit my personality, you know. But I like that idea. But you're ahead of me too because the next technique I was going to talk about is working with reflections and windows. I think you got some really good ones over there and some really interesting color because it's Dunkin' Donuts. And yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Let's, All right, let's try it out. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like I'm taking a picture of something else like I did over there. Yeah. And then I'm pretend like I'm going to review it while I'm taking a picture of someone. Ah, that's I, I feel like that just takes full advantage. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm taking a look at it. Yeah, you Click. become more stealth. I'm going to try it. Well, and, and I, what you're going for is kind of what I like to do, too. I don't, I want to get, I want people and subjects to look as natural as possible. I don't like poses. I don't want them to react to me. So, yeah, I think that's a cool idea. Okay, I got a little strategy. Okay. See the menu is right above? Yeah, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is pretend like I'm Perfect. looking at the menu. Perfect. And and then shoot downwards. Yeah, get your thumb ready and gotcha. I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna do one more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that, gonna that do. That was good because they started moving first. Yeah. Up, yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try doing a harder one. The guy with the newspaper. Inside. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try doing that. <laughs> Somebody's gonna say this in your comments because I know how they roll. Inevitably, what happens if you? get discovered and somebody is not happy uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my fist up I'm gonna fight like if <laughs> they want to fight I'm there punch them out I'm there <laughs> like you want to fight well no. <laughs> <laughs> no, there may be another way we could look at the situation. Um, oh, that's funny. But okay. people do worry about that stuff. You're getting recognized, I think. How's it going? What's up, what's up <laughs> If that happens, you could punch them. But the other thing, too, is that um, establish dominance. That's rule number one. Now, worst yeah. case scenario, I tell people, you know, be cool, delete the shot, whatever. But you don't have to get that far. I found just being nice and saying, oh, I, you play dumb, you know. There are ways to do it, and nine times out of 10, actually 99 times out of 100, you're probably not gonna get busted, because you were stealth. But dude, I haven't seen you shoot street before. You were way outside your comfort zone. Oh no, this is way outside of my comfort yeah, zone. But like, I'm, I know yeah. you too, and the whole, yeah, it's like, no, no, you, that's not a Manny move. Go up and shoot somebody right in the window like that. No. But that's cool, because you're kind of inspired in the moment. You saw something, you kind of went for it. Yeah. When you went over to that guy and you were doing the menu thing, like as soon as you went over there, he started talking with his hands and doing stuff. I'm like, he's going to get something good. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I mean, and it's just establishing that, 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 that confidence. I mean, I guess looking at being able to do this. Yeah. And I have a backup plan. This is my back, not to fight. Sure. But, <laughs> but my, my backup plan is to, to play dumb. Like, and, and, and if he, let's say he got up and like, hey, what are you doing? Take my picture. I'd be like, huh? I, I like, yeah, I, I'll look around. I'll pretend like I, I didn't, I didn't even see him. Like, huh? Like, what happened? Yeah. Oh no, no, I was just checking. I was just checking my my, my settings Seeing or whatever. Seeing and working. I, yeah. Yeah. You look yeah. Frustrated. Put uh, on show. Uh, yeah. Exactly. That's what I would do. Cool, man. That's great. I think we got some stuff today, man. This yeah, was yeah, good. Just yeah. Yeah. Quick, quick little street outing. Quick little street outing. Um. I'm testing out the thoughts X Pro. on. So I got to use this on Tuesday. Thoughts on the X Pro Three. So I want to hear your opinion. You know, I don't have ex like a lot of experience with Fuji cameras. I have experience with XT3. I love my X100F. Yeah. I love the, the the profiles and classic negative. So far, I really like it, the way it looks inside. Uh, I'll tell you right now, the X-Pro3, I love the EVF. It's surprisingly good, especially coming from the X100F. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's a really good um, EVF experience. I think that this camera is for the hardcore street photographer because you can get the X-T3 for cheaper with more features. Yep, more video, but, HDMI, 10-bit. Yeah, and but I feel the experience is slightly different with this camera. This camera says, I can't chimp. It's, it brings me more into the moment, yeah. right? If I'm looking through the EVF, I'm not always looking at my images. I'm just focused on what I'm doing. I don't know, there's something about it. It's something, it's something that it's really hard to put your finger on. It's more about the experience, right? It's an experience, yeah. Hardcore exactly. street photographer camera. And I know this screen is very, uh, it's very controversial on the internet. Oh, yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't like reviewing an image like this. I feel like it's not very, you know, like when yeah. you're reviewing, it's kind of, 
It's so kind of weird. This mode where it's all the way down, Chris Nichols says it's a handle. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, right, right. I, that is the least useful to me. Yeah. But I like that 45 degree angle. This, you know? this right here is, I I, I love this. Like yeah. my X100F doesn't have the flip doesn't screen. Have doesn't have it. Down, so yeah. it's hard to do that kind of street shooting. You're kind of like just, you know, taking, you know, shots that, blind shots. Yeah. I, I don't know, it's wild. It's, it's, it's so different than anything else out there. I like your channel. The, oh, thanks, man. It's it's very different camera. It's cool. It's it does make you want to go shoot street. Yeah, it and just does. Just watching you do things that, that you're not used to doing. It's yeah. like that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, I, the creative. I said it before. The creative restriction, like the Fuji X100, yeah. it doesn't have the greatest features. The autofocus is not like the greatest, but restricting yourself so you don't have all this technology to do the work for you. Yes. Going out there and there's something about that this this camera that inspires you, just like my Fuji. Yes. It inspires you to go out and shoot, and some for some people that's really important. For some people, they're not going to understand the value in that. Yeah. And I see, I see it in this. Now it's two thousand dollars. It's it's a little bit on the on the more expensive side, but it's all about how you see it. And I feel like people that love street photography are going to really appreciate something like this. I like the fact that it's like I know this camera won't do that. So what can I do to still get that shot? Or like what you were doing with like what's a way I could get really close to somebody and the camera actually offers an advantage. So I, I love that stuff, man. It's 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 a cool camera. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good day, man. That was cool. It was cool to see you do that and and you're gonna have to we're gonna have to reverse this next time because I want to reciprocate this because yep. like what you do I'm really bad at I like working with models like the way I like to shoot is I want people just to I want to capture a moment that just happens naturally and when we do a lot of these press events together it's like I'm so uncomfortable when there's a model who wants me to direct her what to do or him what to do I don't know what to do because it's like yeah. so you got to help me with that but I this was fun and it's like I think you got a lot out of um, you know sometimes a shot doesn't work sometimes it does yeah and we were saying on the walk back, just to share with them, it's like, yeah, sometimes in real life, just personal shooting, that happens. And you have a, a day where you just don't get anything, and it's like, ah, oh, I'm not doing that again. Yep. It's terrible. Yep. But you got to keep at it. And then, like, challenge yourself creatively. It's like, how, what, what, what's in the shot? What's in the frame? What, yep. what can you get? What can you capture? So it was good, man. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was um, awesome. Thanks, Enjoyed thanks, it, man. Thanks, thanks for all the tips. It, always, man. Yeah, I don't need to be giving you tips. But uh, <laughs> this was cool, man. I enjoyed it. It was yeah, fun. It was fun. It was yeah. Fun. So next time, uh, Ted Forbes, Art of Photography, if you don't know him already, check him out. <laughs> Got some really, really, really inspiring videos and really intellectual stuff. That's why I'm wearing this jacket. Dr. Forbes, right. <laughs> uh, no, and if you haven't liked and subscribed to this video, you need to show your love. Do you do all this? I never do. Um, not really. No, um, then don't hit anything. Just <laughs> hit somebody if they challenge you on your photographing them. Yeah. <laughs> See you, you guys later. <laughs>